What's going on, everyone? This is Michael Stewart Isaacs. And this is Shemek Ebony. And this is your next edition of Sunday, Sunday Stacks. Stacks. Sunday Stacks back again, and we are ready and locked and loaded. Yes. We are excited to give you all another entertaining episode of this Sunday Stacks experience. Every time we come to you all, we look forward to just sharing a lot of gems. And oh, wow, we have a lot to Pack this week. So first, I want to give a quick shout out to our sponsors. I want to shout out QuickBooks. QuickBooks is a partner with Minds Through Minds Propaganda platform where we encourage business owners to make sure that they keep their books together. So please feel free to look for the links in our YouTube bio and you definitely will find some links to some discounts for you as if you're an entrepreneur out there trying to kind of get yourself together and make sure that you can really value your business. Profits and losses, all those good things. Definitely check out the QuickBooks software. It is a good tool to use. I'm excited to be using it as well and excited to be partnering with QuickBooks. So definitely feel free to uh, click on the link and get yourself a discount courtesy of Michael Stewart Isaacs. I love it. Well, shout now also uh, to one of our partners with Forum. This uh, platform gives us a virtual space to hold our peer groups, and we have some peer groups coming up. So if there are any women DEI champions and leaders that uh, would like some opportunity to get together, not just strategy of work, but that also that camaraderie of refueling and renewing because we know there's a lot of emotional work that goes into this and if we don't take care of ourselves trying to transform our communities organizations institutions we lose that so make sure you check out uh, how to connect with us on our forum platform so that you can create a uh, a partnership with us to join our virtual peer group experience we have one coming up in may and we'll be running that cohort through december to get bi-weekly support to help you navigate how to build yourself up while walking through navigating DEI in this season that we're in. Yes, I mean, what a season we're in. So definitely find those links in our bio to allow for you to just, you know, connect with a lot of these tools that we want to lend to you all to continue to empower your life. And that's what we hear about Sunday Stacks. We want to know how things are stacking up week for week. We try to make sure that we're stacking up. That means we want to make sure that every productive week that you create, that there's new growth towards yes. that legacy building that you want to have out there, that generational wealth you want to have out there. Well, Sunday Stacks is the platform to help you center that. And we focus on family, community, and company as the hallmark of the ways to get there. And we definitely make sure that we craft messages that really resonate in a nuanced way to make sure that we all can really elevate to the levels that we need to be at to truly get better results within our lives. Mm -hmm. So with that, Shemeka, you have something amazing that you're actually about to be a part of this week. We do connect with Sunday Stacks and the I Am Brilliant, I Am Brilliant Tour. I Am Brilliant is a co-founding of me and Shemeka where we've been working in communities to continue to empower people in unique ways to help them find their brilliance, whether that means there's a light that's within them that needs to illuminate or that reboot that a person needs to just find their confidence again. I Am Brilliant is that tool to do that. You can get more information on that from IamBrilliant.org. But with the tour, we have a lot of science that we teach. And Mecca particularly teaches something I love to call the community champion certified. She helped me learn how to be a community champion out here. And Shemeka, what you got going on this week? Tell people where you're going to bring this I Am Brilliant tour. What you got going on? I mean, it's it here's like sound like some powerful work from what I'm hearing through the grapevine. Oh, this is so exciting. I am so grateful to have this opportunity to take the I Am Brilliant tour to St. Louis, Missouri. St. Louis. Yeah, shout out to the National Urban League, Wellbeing and Equity Win Week will be happening. They're hosting it at St. Louis University. We're going to be there for like four to some are even arriving super early um, for some hackathons around social change. So we're going to be there this week under the theme of being better ancestors. And we are really uh, looking to create ways to amplify resources, tools, ways of being, ways of cohabitating with humanists around us and how we prepare the times now to be considered and understood as better ancestors for our future. What does that really look like? We have uh, partnered with Shoma, who I've uh, really appreciated and value working with uh, since the 100 Million Healthier Lives um, work from, what, 2016? Um, really creating the culture of health and well-being has been the center of a lot of the work that I do. 
Specifically, we will um, be speaking about the Community Bill of Rights as a tool um, of partnership to center community and how it's being activated. Uh, Jen Olson will be joining me from Maine. Uh, and We're going to be coming together in St. Louis to have a session on that Wednesday to really lift up what the Community Bill of Rights is, uh, thinking about how you can utilize this Community Bill of Rights to improve your outcomes in your community engagement and how you center community with intention. So we're not only looking at building better ancestors now with the Community Bill of Rights as a way of, of being in partnership and agreement, but also looking at how this could in, encompass our future and where we're going and what that can look like. We're in real time building a roadmap to be better ancestors together. I love that. And I like the thought process of an ancestor, being a better ancestor, just in general, when we think about that, it just sounds so profound. And I'm excited for what you have going on, where the I Am Brilliant Tool will be this week, which will be in St. Louis, and definitely excited for the people of St. Louis and those who are just coming in from different places to partake in this event. Oh, I've shout out. We will be doing a pop-up in person with While I'm Getting Naked in Sanctuary Life. So if you're at the event, make sure you look for us in the hotel. It's Angar Arts Hotel. We'll be doing a pop-up that Wednesday night after our session that Jen and I will be doing. That's awesome. And we'll make sure to put some of that information in the chat. And please follow us on social media. Jamaica's platform, uh, we don't hold a, sun, a true Sunday Stacks type of platform besides here on YouTube. But we do want to make sure that you all connect with Shemeca and myself. You can find us on Instagram under our name, Shemeca Ebony. And then it's also Michael Stewart Isaacs, fully spelled out. And this is a way to just kind of tap into a lot of what we have going on, the announcements we're putting out here on Sunday Stacks. That's where you'll find your photos all of the above. that pop up and want to take i am brilliant pictures exactly you'll find it through our platforms the i am brilliant you are too on instagram so these are part of it and definitely here on youtube definitely like and subscribe like and subscribe to sunday stacks channel make sure to like and subscribe our i am brilliant channel share as well and share with a friend so this way you can stay in the loop of the world we're building and that's kind of the the theme that we keep talking about with sunday stacks how do we make things stack up each week and then the projects that we're working on that are centered around family, community and company, how we create this empowerment loop that allows for us to all create a better sustainability in our lives and truly not be subject to a world that has totally ignored us. And that shifts us into our topic for the week. We want to talk about ignore or ignore rent. Like, let's talk about these words that we have heard over mm -hmm. the years. We've heard the word ignore rent. But I dare to say the word is misnomered, if not misdefined, in how we see it. See, most people have always treated the word ignorant as meaning someone's intelligent level. But I dare to say from the root of it, when we think about the word ignore and what it means to ignore something, would the ignorant not be the people to not pay attention to? And so when we look at that as a way of looking at our society and the things we choose to ignore, and our ignorance of someone else's plight and different struggles through their family, community, and company. We want to set up the, the conversation today as we look as a reflection on how do we start to make ourselves no longer ignorant, ignoring the things that are happening around us, and how do we shield ourselves in a way that we still do protect the guard of our family, our communities, and our company, but not ignore the plight of other people, other communities, and other companies that are trying to figure their way out. So mm -hmm. this is the topic today. We want you to put some of your ideas and thoughts in the chat. We love the engagement. We love the communication of how we put these ideas out here. But we also want your feedback and you to answer some of these questions. Me and Shemeca are just sharing our thoughts here on the Sunday Stacks platform in regards to this ignorant, ignore conversation. So, Shemeca, you have any thoughts in regards to just this theme we're working on today in regards to ignorant and its meaning as well as how it shows up today in society? Yes, when you were uh, lifting that, it just really, I put myself in the position of those that may feel ignored. Uh, maybe screaming, yelling to the top of your lungs and you do not feel heard. And when I think about people with lived experience expertise, this comes up a lot as far as how they are being heard. And so when you lifted the word ignorant, it, I, you know, for me, I broke it down very quickly in my mind to ignore the rant. 
Um, most of the time when we are expressing ourselves and we don't feel heard, we're emotional, uh, we're yelling, we're angry, you know, our hurt is coming in different ways. And we may feel like people have tuned us out, Mm -hmm. you know, and the power of this word ignorant on the other side, you know, another perspective is around how many people have been conditioned to ignore our rant for injustice, ignore our rant of inequity. How many times have people just off of social conditioning, um, silence the voices of those that are facing inequity and have been trained and conditioned to ignore it until they want to do something. They want to feel generous, want to feel helpful, want to uh, feel benevolent, <laughs> benevolent, right? Around Christmas time and holidays when you want to give you know food and clothes away. I mean, I think that's a great perspective, and we're gonna keep it right there, right? What who are out there with the power of the statehood, power of the their citizenship to be able to still choose to ignore those who we see either, you know, homeless or someone who is asking, you know, for a little bit of a help or assistance to not be under the plight of our current system, the way it's structured. And we all understand that everyone's academic levels are different. Everyone's pursuit towards ambition is different. But when we sit here and really start to weigh the character or the existence of a person, we because we can't change people or make them have the same background as us or feel comfortable around them, we just choose to ignore them. And what we do is create a sickness and an illness in our overall society because we still all have to live amongst one another. And what happens is resources start to get snifed and snuffled and you know covered up because people then say, hey, you know, I don't necessarily want this group that I have no relationship with to have something. So therefore, I can just ignore it. And until they get loud enough to say they need something or want something to stop, that's when I can jump in and and then maybe do something or put a little Band-Aid on it or create somebody else to be a distraction towards the means. And I think that's the key to ignoring is that we constantly create distraction after distraction after distraction to allow Mm -hmm. for us to ignore real problems in the world. There are real problems and real things going on in the world, yet someone can stop and say, well, I need a moment to play video game." Because we then need a distraction to ignore the realities of our lives and our world. And we have to understand that sometimes even the ignorance and the things that we use, we turn to drugs and alcohol and all these different things that could start to keep us kind of numb towards real things that require actual thought leadership and allow for us to really kind of hold ourselves back. And, you know, I can go on for days with this, but I definitely want to get some of your input in regards to what what I'm saying and how this could be translated for our community. I really appreciate us spending some time with this because it helps us understand our power because sometimes we do have to Um, make sure that we are communicating in a way that people can understand. And when we don't understand, it's easier for us to ignore. So there's another component of this where we look at people or we've identified people or labeled people as ignorant. uh, And we've had this assumption or assimilation to this to also mean stupid or unlearned. When we look at that from the standpoint of our misunderstanding and uh, how this really shows up in practice, Uh, Those that um, are oppressive in some nature are actually unlearned in understanding how to effectively communicate. So ignoring problems does not make them go away. And so we look at it through this lens. We have this opportunity, uh, you know, even for in preparation for this week, we cannot ignore the ills of what's going on globally in our family, in community, in our companies, really by ignoring it. There's so much going on. And I even, you know, I call my mindless behavior. When things get overwhelming, I'll go look at something or play Candy Crush because I don't have to think about it (laughs) Uh, to filter out. But how many of us, our main source of information that we that guides our intentions and our thoughts and even some of our advocacy work is fed to us through social media, which is also a place where people go and dump stuff that is what we will, you know, we are familiar with calling ignorant content, things that make us laugh, things that will distract us, but also is um, causing us to limit ourselves and ignoring major problems that are happening that are impacting us, but we don't know because we're following the distractions to as a way of practice or a way of being to 
drown out the negativity but it's a it's an endless cycle is what i see and what we're being trained and conditioned to ignore and not pay attention to uh what rants are happening that we want to pay attention to you know how it's not sustainable to our mental well-being uh our our own self-care and well-being looking at violence looking at war looking at even the things that we're following online in our efforts of advocacy if we don't find spaces and places to heal ourselves through that uh we'll find ourselves in a vicious cycle of being boxed in to what this is and the impact of our community in developing. I love it. And I think this is where we now have to transition to our Wiz of the Week, Wiz of the Week. Shemeca alluded to in her beautiful, you know, eloquent way of breaking down this ignore rant. And let's bring that into the Wiz of the Week. This week is no different when it comes to our theme of ignore rant, right? We have wars everywhere. There are wars going on everywhere here on the globe, and yet we can still distract ourselves with sports, sports betting, all these other things that we choose to participate in and put all of our energy, put all of our stakes on it. We have interest rates and we have financing. We have inflation everywhere. We have all these things that we're choosing to war. We have political factions running for elections warring. We have presidents, former presidents on trial right now for things such as having Porn stars paid off privately. We have all of these things happening right now that we're ignoring. And as we bring you a Wiz of the Week every week, you already know all the things that have been distracting you because you're already paying attention to it. Whether it's a Donald Trump trial, whether it's a man lighting himself on fire in New York City to make political points to get people's attention. We still have people who are paying attention more to a hip hop beef and waiting for Kendrick Lamar to respond to Drake or doing all these. Who's out coming out next with Diddy? And what Stephen A. Smith done said this time politically, we pay attention to celebrities and we ignore so many other powerful people day in and day out that are doing the work in communities and truly out here advocating for important things that aren't being heard. Years ago, I had the privilege of being a part of Occupy Wall Street. And one of the fundamental things I walked away with that now is the undergirding of my work is that there are so many issues and concerns that people have out there. And yes, could capital and money go to these things and fix them? Yes. But most of the time we know it's people's benevolence and all these other things that go to these particular things. And it's never any real concentrated effort to solve anyone's real problem. That's the part of the ignorant, whether it's something that we have to wait for a legislator to do or something we just choose to do as a people. At some point, we cannot ignore all things and not expect this backlash that we see this constant infighting and wars and things that we're seeing out here or people taking extreme measures towards putting themselves in harm. Mm -hmm. I mean, what do you, you know, what else, I mean, can we say about the Wizard of the Week? (laughs) You know, this is that the season, you know, this moment when you may need a reboot. You feel yourself uh, overwhelmed. You feel yourself down. You could be feeling depressed. You may feel stuck. You may not feel your spark anymore. This would be a good time to kind of do that self-evaluation. We're into this quarter. Time has come. Our New Year's resolutions are are <laughs> gone and passed. So when we think about how much this energy is put into the Wizard of Week, that feels draining, you may need to rediscover yourself with a reboot. So I would highly recommend you check out getting your own copy of While I'm Getting Naked Reflective Journal to really do that self-care and well-being check-in on yourself. And you can find that at Shemeca.com. And I'm happy to walk with you and bring you, meet you where you are and pull you out to where you want to be. I love that. And I think we just have to look at ways to really empower ourselves. As again, Sunday Stacks, we're about family, community, and company. So when we look at that, we have to make sure that the matrix of our mindset is set. And a lot of the work we're doing at Entrepreganda is designed to help you get yourself organized and have you prepared for the future. As we discussed, we work with companies like QuickBooks and we have so many other products and services to continue to encourage and coach you to that space you're truly trying to build. And we want to make sure that you join. So we definitely will put links and opportunities for you to join our communities and be connected to everything that Sunday Stacks is here. As community leaders, we have so many things that we're stacking up 
week for week. And as we look at all the things going on and the things that we're ignoring in the world, don't ignore this Sunday Stacks program. This mm-hmm. program is for you. This program mm-hmm. is for the free thinkers. This program is for those who want to claim their citizenship. Nice. We're not trying to overturn mm-hmm. governments. Mm-hmm. We're trying to empower governments to do better. And if they need a roadmap of endurance and empowerment, that's what Sunday Stacks is here to provide because people have to consider family, community, and company as a hallmark for us to all rise up and truly create an economy and a world that is truly able that everyone gets what they want. As I always tell people as a motivational speaker, we all have the ability to go to sleep. And some people remember dreams and some people don't dream. But when you do have the ability to dream, it's no different than when you're awake to realize that your dream is not interfered because another person's exists. And we have to look at life in the same way, Mm -hmm. that when we're alive and living, that just because one person exists doesn't mean they're going to take resources from you, doesn't mean that they're going to exhaust you in other ways. We have to start looking at our world so much differently and stop ignoring so much, stop being so afraid, stop having guns that feel like we can just justify harming people with weapons. I believe people have the right to protect themselves, but I don't believe people have the right to harm people because they're afraid. And we have to do better as a society. And that's what we're here to teach you all Mm -hmm. and just share with it with all the love and positivity that we can give. But sometimes we got to give it to you real because we understand we are in America, Jack, as the quote, the famous line from coming to America. And you got (laughs) to understand how to get along to get along to understand how to deal with people and truly communicate things. And that's what we have. You know, me and Shemekka are talent that really love to communicate with the world. And that's what this Sunday Stacks has given us a beautiful platform to do. So, Shemekka, if you got anything else to say to the people before we wrap? Hey, St. Louis, we are coming St. to you Louis. this week. So uh-uh. hit us up, you know, reach out, hit me in the DM if you want more details about where we could pop up. Actually, uh, Win Week is something that is also being uh, streamed virtually. So there's still time for you to register and connect with us this week and pop in virtually. All right. So as we wrap up, as we always say, everything will be in the link in the bio. Share this episode. Please put it in the description. Make sure to tell a friend to tell a friend that Sunday Stacks is the thing they should be listening to. And as always, as we say, I, I am brilliant, brilliant and you, you are too. too. Thank you again for enjoying this episode.